I think everybody's got security frameworks that they rely on to help them understand and develop their cybersecurity roadmap. If you look at all of the major cybersecurity frameworks, whether it's NIST, CIS, uh, pick your your regional, uh, you know, the Cyber Essentials, uh, you know, the ASD um, uh, top 20, all of these will have an element in there around discovery and asset management. The reason for this is if we don't know what's in our environment, we cannot secure it. So discovery is a foundational piece of any security program. Uh, active, passive, um, the ability to connect up to multiple data sources and really aggregate a lot of information ar around your environment. Uh, Ivanti has a, a, a lot of capabilities around discovery and what we have found through engagement with customers and uh, some security uh, surveys that we've done is most organizations have between a 20 to 30% gap in their understanding of all devices that are actually being managed in their environment. So if you take, and it's, it's actually pretty easy to get to this, if you take you know six or seven data points uh, throughout your environment, look at the endpoint management solution, the asset management solution, uh, your, your um, and, uh, ag active uh, or your endpoint protection. So whether it's EDR or a threat protection platform of some, some type, each of those are gonna have a set of managed machines. Match that up with your procurement team and uh, I guarantee you between those different data sources, you're gonna start to see double digit percentages of machines that are managed in one, not in another. Uh, so that, you know, upwards of 30% of my environment is blind to me from any one data source. One of the most important reasons for this to be in, you know, the base and the foundation of these cybersecurity frameworks is because we need to get a view on that, you know, upwards of 30% of our, our blind spots in our environment, because if we don't, threat actors will.